So here we have a different type of switch we've made, this time using conductive poppers. So they're metallic poppers. Make sure you use metallic poppers because obviously plastic poppers wouldn't work. But we're using these in this instance to create a switch that has an off position and one that has an on position. You can see the LEDs on. So let's explain how this works. We have the battery hole at the back and the power is coming up to the LED and then it's coming over to this section here. And this is formed between one half of the popper, you can see here, which is sewn using conductive thread onto a piece of conductive ribbon. And you can see the conductive elements within the ribbon here. This is then stitched here, to, we're using conductive thread so we can make a connection with a crocodile clip or you could go on using conductive thread back to the power board. So this bit is connected onto our circuit and this popper is sewn down using conductive thread. So if we connect to that, we can see we've completed the circuit and the LED is on. When we remove that, the LED is off and then we have a second popper position. The reason we have that is so that when we clip onto this, it stays in position and can't accidentally touch this popper, causing the LED to come on when we don't want it to be on. So we have a very simple on-off switch made from some very low-cost metallic poppers and a little bit of conductive thread and conductive ribbon.